I was. I actually have a couple posts on my page where I was like, I have a post that says, I knew her body better than I knew my own. Stop. Let, let that sit there. Hello, beautiful people. I pray that you guys are blessed and highly favored. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenesha Brickring. This is Kenny Speaks. To my subscribers and new subscribers, bait up your chest. Listen, this video is going to be a hot one. I believe a lot of y'all are not going to agree with me here, but hear me out. Let's get into this video. Several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. And um, I spent a lot of time, like I was, I, I went in such a, a deep hole where I was like studying these women. I would go to their profiles and I would study their pages and like what they wear. I knew when they were meet, when they had met up. So I've, I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships so that he could choose me and want me family i'm so happy i did not comment on this video when it first went viral because i didn't watch the full episode yesterday i went and watched the full episode and i'm going to tell you why i blame her now family as you know on this channel we use viral video for teaching lessons so this is not to bash denia it is to use her story to learn, right? Now, I know I see myself in her and her story. And I know many other young ladies see themselves in her story. And I want to first talk about where Danea went absolutely wrong, where she messed up, okay? And I think it's important to know where she messed up so that we can teach our daughters and we can teach our young ladies and we can teach even adults where we can correct ourselves and not find ourselves in a similar situation as Danea. Now, one thing Danea mentioned that she was smart when it comes to schoolwork. And this is where me and my husband, we get in our little clashes. Okay, I'm all for education. But can we teach our children, can it become normal to teach our children self-love? Can it become normal for us to encourage two-parent home families? Can it become normal where we encourage fathers to be a big part of daughters, right? Can it be normal and encourage, right, for mothers to really sit down and talk to their daughters about being safe, being open and honest. And I say this because when you listen to Danaya's story, you know that very young she had trauma. You know, her dad, her and her father wasn't close. And she also got great. Okay. She got great. Right. You, you guys know what I'm saying. Got to be careful with YouTube. Right. She got great. And she never dealt with those things. And she jumped in a relationship at the age of 19. I'm going to put that clip in here and then we're going to continue. Then at what age and how'd y'all meet? At 19, we met at 19. We met in business calc class at Tuskegee University. Hold on. So you met him shortly after I did. your rape experience? I did three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks after I met him in class. Yes. Right. And so then we add we add on another layer. Right. I went straight into a relationship, um, even though it wasn't like immediately we started dating, but I met him and there was interest there. I went straight into that without even acknowledging dealing with the rape. I pretended like it never even happened. What I love about Danea was that she was so she was an open book. And I love when I see children of God being open with their mess because what it does, it allow other people to be able to heal, right, through their story. But let's touch on this. Danaea said that after the rape, she did not get help. She did not seek prayer, guidance, healing, nothing. And she kept this, this package. She kept this package for years, right? 
This is important to know because, first of all, you broken. You broken. You hurt. And you will only accept what you are from others. Smart girl, too. Yes. Quiet and smart, <laughs> right? And um, I had these crazy braids in my hair that were not upkept. I had <laughs> pimples all over my face. So it's like one of those classic movies where it's like that, the ugly duckling, smart girl in the corner, and then all of a sudden... Look at this face, you know, <laughs> you know, are you right? And so it was like one of those classic fairy tale kind of stories in that regard. But um, he asked me to tutor him. We met up in the library and. Here, Danae was explaining how her and Derek met her husband. And I thought it was so important because listen to how young she was. She wasn't really taking care of herself. She spoke about being overweight pimples, not really taking care of our hair. And here's the thing, as I said, if you do not know yourself, like I, I stress, I stress self-love. First of all, she was a baby. She was 19, 19. And I try to teach my girls and I'll teach anyone. Listen, figure you out. I'm not telling you to know all of you, but know most of you. What do you like? What don't you like? Read books on relationship. What would you take? What would you not take? What are your boundaries, right? What are you looking for? What are you doing with yourself, right? What are you becoming, right? These are the things you need to focus on. If you are looking for a relationship, if you are looking for love, figure out what love is. Read the books. Read the stories, you know, read about other people's life and what they've been through with marriage and love. Read book on marriage. So you have at least an idea of what to expect and to develop yourself to, right? So that you can have at least higher standards when it comes to choosing a man and I'm not talking just about money. I believe in building with someone who don't have it. But I'm talking about integrity, values, norms. What do they, how do they react when they're angry, right? What is abuse? What do abuse look like? Did I go through abuse? I was speaking to one of my girl yesterday and I said, I did not know what abuse was until I started studying psychology. And I realized most of my life was dysfunctional. Right. And unless you know it, you will not be able to identify it, grow from it, um, move away from it or even grow and become better. OK, and if you don't know it, then you are going to accept it in your life. People's going to be able to do it to you. This is where trauma bonds come in when you become bonded to someone through the trauma of your past and the trauma of what they're doing to you. Right. And so it is so important, guys, do not open something that you are not ready for, right? And a lot of us, myself included, have opened the bottle of love, right? Which usually if you look back, it wasn't truly love, it was lust. But we opened this and it was very difficult to close. And we're going to hear the Naya explain how hard it was to close this chapter of this soul tie, an abusive soul tie, a self-defeating soul tie that not only took away her self-esteem, right? The little that she probably already had, right? Her identity, you know, her love of self. Let's get into the rest. We were still engaging sexually. Um, even though we were off. Right. And so it, it was in this time where there was, listen, there was a lineup of us. We were passing each other on the stairway in and out. No, y'all wasn't. We, listen, no, y'all was not passing you think each other. You think this is a game. You were not passing each other on the stairway. No, y'all We were passing each other on the stairway. Like, this is my shift from this time to this time. So, you know, I was a willing participant in that and this is like I can laugh about it now but at this it's really sad you know to like what space do you have to be in to yeah. accept that and so I dealt with it already so I can laugh about yeah, it now yeah, and it's that's, funny that's what but it's like, like right? you look back at your old self but and laugh I'm just like 
Listen, the Naya was not holding back, guys. And we can all see ourselves in her. How much times have we allowed ourselves to go through situations and we look back like, what was I thinking? You know, but this is the beauty of growth. This is the beauty of self-love. This is the beauty of healing, right? When she is telling her story, She's not only being open and honest, but the girl has healed and Sheila Goda. Let me tell you, Sheila Goda. All right, but let me let me say why I blame Denaya. I blame her because she knew this man and his ways before she married her. And yes, she was broken. Yes, she had baggages. Yes, she did not do the hard work, let me tell you what is hard. The hard work is healing. The hard work is staying away from the things that are hurting you, that is harming you. And going through what you got to go through to heal it. Going through the counseling, the therapy, right? The the yoga, the, the, the gym, the mentors. I mean... The, the eat and write, whatever healing look like for you, the meditation, the reading your word, the godliness, whatever healing looks like for you, that's the hard part. But the easy part is going back to the pain and the hurt and the thing and the person and the environment that is causing you harm because that is what you are used to. That's the easy part. But the hard part, you can tell she did the hard part. She looks good. She looks amazing. You can tell she did the hard part. By the way she speak. But I also love that she takes responsibility. She said, I became a willing participant in this. So she's not pointing finger and when you get to a place where you are no longer pointing finger and you are looking within and you're saying hey why am I why do I keep putting myself through this listen you are your first priority you sleep with you every day you wake up to you every day listen there's no getting rid of you and so you need to learn to love and take care of you before you're able to love and take care of anyone else and so I believe I'm going to leave this video here that I can go on and on and on and on and on because there's so much juice in this, but I don't want to make this video too long. However, I want to say the reason why I blame her is because before she married to him, she knew all of his ways. She knew all of his madness. She knew all of her, his behavior and she still chose to get married to this man. So I don't blame him. She was in this for nine years before she said, I do. Okay. Also, I understand because we've all been through it. Some of you guys are probably still going through it. But I'm telling you, do the work. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time. And watch, watch, watch the manifestation of who you truly are. God bless. If you've not subscribed yet, please do it now. Help my channel to grow. Share, join the conversation below. And also, look out for my new book, I Chose Life. If you've not yet got my book, that is already out, Suicide or Life. I have a conference coming up in June, not so far. If you're in London, if you're coming to London, let's meet up and stay blessed, family. Absolutely stay blessed. If you've just had a baby or you're trying to get in shape, check out my waist training website. God bless.